Hey, we're gonna tie a tube fly right now and we're gonna feature the uh, these amazing flexi beads. And I'm gonna tie on a uh, Pro Sport Fisher Classic Tube. And these things are they're about this long. And you do this uh, at, at during the times when you are you're gonna suck your loop knot into the back end and it just fits perfectly. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut off a piece about this long with my razor blade off screen. And I slide this on my flexi needle. And then I'm gonna start my thread and I'm gonna leave about a half an inch uncovered in the back. A little bit of Loctite on there. We're here at the shop and there's a lot of stuff going on. So this is a uh, purple. Um, purple UV ice dub. So the overall color theme of this fly here is going to be orange and black. And I could use this butt little piece I'm going to put on is really barely going to be visible. Um, it, it's, it, uh, bleh. What's the point here? The point is to, to provide a little bit of color if, if the marabou fibers part and the fish can look in there carefully and say, wow. I'm going to bite this fly because they have UV purple ice dub and that's just like irresistible. So I could, I could do something crazy now, like put some Lady Amherst fibers or a little bit of ostrich right there, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do instead is simply I'm going to put in some grizzly, some skinny grizzly saddle points. And I'm really enthusiastic about these. Why? So the reason is these, 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 these give you, I think, a little bit more wiggle than uh, ostrich wood because they're a little bit firmer they're definitely more durable than ostrich would be ostrich would break off quite easily this will not now so here's a really skinny feather I could save this back part for a dry fly you know what I'm gonna do instead it's so sl slender I'm gonna tie it in right here Go ahead and put it down here. But, uh, the fact that it has a blunted off point is not a problem where the fish are concerned. A lot of flies that are tied commercially and fish very effectively are tied with grade two saddles that have broken tips. And uh, you know, I, I figured, that, figured that out. I thought, wow. How come I'm not using the back part of these really skinny saddle feathers? So now I am. So I've got four of these feathers on now. And by the way, I'm pulling this stuff off because I, I don't want to build up too much bulk where I tie it in. And the length I'm tying these hackle tips in is, is going to... Uh, I could make them pretty long. I could make them longer than I am. But I, I'm thinking about the overall dimensions of this fly. Okay, so I've got how many? One, two, three, four, about six of those tied in. Trim here. Wrap. Don't want them to go anywhere. A little bit of super glue there. Now, 
Joe, we can read all Here comes one of the fun parts. So, you know, the, the color themes we're going to use here, there are some pretty basic color themes that, that are very effective with steelhead flies. And orange and black is one, orange and red is one, blue and black, purple and black, all black, all purple. This one just happens to be orange and black. Yes. <laughs> just, it just got here. And it's uh, it's a ambush. So when when would I fish this? I ambush uh, wait for what night. It's so funny. My friends who fish the sandy and the clack fish orange. No problem. Rain and shine. Clear and green and brown water. Um so my friends on the coast reserve uh orange and red until the water is low and clear or clear and cold. So I don't know what it all means. If you got confidence in how you fish it and if you fish it you're more likely to catch a fish on it and that's kind of the, you know we create our own where are my scissors? Here they are. So now I, I want a little bit of flash, but not too much. So I'm looking around here. I had, here it is. So I used, a, when I want more flash, one of the things I'm hot on now is this ripple ice fiber. But I don't want much here because I might be fishing this on uh, low clear water. So I'm going to throw in some orange crystal flash. And I'm going to make this as long as the longest grizzly hackle tips. So I got a couple long ones, a couple short ones there. Then I'm going to get two more long ones. Now if I absolutely knew, 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 if I was sure, if I was certain, that the only time I was going to fish this fly was going to be on really low, clear water. Chances are good I wouldn't put any flash in at all. This fly is pretty much tied in the round. Pretty much it is. So I got my butt section, I got my grizzly hackle points, I got my marabou, I got my flash. What I want to do now is I want to put a black uh, black marabou on there and just as with the previous fly I tied, which was a blue and black, or actually light blue, dark blue, black. I want the overall cast of this fly to be orange, but I do want the black in front, so I don't want the black to overpower the rest of the fly. So, I'm using one of my smaller marabou plumes. And I'm going to just kind of check this out while I'm, you know, a lot of times when I'm tying flies and shooting video, I'll say, you know, three turns and I may use four or five. I may save, say, five turns, like do six or seven or whatever. This one, I can pretty much tell you, I'm not going to use more than two, but I'm going to gauge it. So one, not bad. Let me see if two is too much. I've actually got about one and a half turns there, and I think that's going to be sufficient. And I really cannot see very well what I'm doing, but I'm just reaching in there and feeling for the stem with the scissors. I pull that back. So I think that's uh, that's just about the way I want it. Orange is dominant, the black is just barely there. 
So now um, I could call it good since this is uh, since we're working with a pro sport fisher here, I could put on any kind of a cone. Sometimes when I want these without weight at all, I like to use an extra small cone. And in that case, I might use an extra, extra small black or extra small bright red. And that would look really awesome here. But I want to fish this fly where I need it to penetrate the surface flow just a little bit more promptly and uh, swim in some ledgy water, some bedrocky water. So I'm going to use these Pro Flexi beads. And you know, any, any of you who have done much tying with beads on tubes, you know it's really, really, really aggravating trying to find a bead that will fit on your tube reliably. So here we go. I know this is gonna fit. It goes right on there, and it, the other thing is it fits, it covers the thread, but it doesn't really squish your hackle down. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm gonna slide this out. Slide this off the tube. I'm gonna trim it off camera with my razor blade. And then, wouldn't you know, I didn't bring a lighter. It's okay. Let's pretend I got a lighter here. I just hold the blue part of the flame. You see how that's just melting down, flattening out. It's so nice. So here we go. We've got a really nice fly. So I got a piece of leader here. And I have one of these nice new Aquafly swing hooks with teeny, teeny tiny barb, which you can, it's easy to crush. And the point is the barb is so small that when you crush the barb, you don't have to bend too firmly and the hook won't break when you squish the barb and it's all good. So, I'm gonna tie a double surgeon's loop in this. This goes through once, goes through twice. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm sliding this loop up and then I'm going to tighten up on it and then I'm going to, with my teeth, pull on it. So here we have, I'm going to trim the long end off, not shorter than about a sixteenth. So I got this thing. And I got a fly around here somewhere. Where'd it go? I know it's here. Oh, it's looking for the wrong color. So here's a beautiful fly. So I thread, drops right down to where the knot is. Now, with the medium classic tube, this doesn't work with the nano tube or the micro tube, but the classic tube, you see that knot, and I just pull it, barely pull it into there. It's going to stay put. And here you go. You got your fly. Great action. You got your fly right there, back back there by the grizzly tips. If you wanted to have that fly closer, you could pull it in a little bit further. Hope this helps. Hope you have fun tying. Hope you catch a fish.